Now let me get into some of the problems. One of the main problems that we've had is that sometimes when you close this here, let's see if it does it now, it won't close all the way. So like it'll just kind of like, see, it'll do that. Wow, look, it actually did it on camera. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you an honest and in-depth feel of what it's like to live with the 2024 Mazda CX-90. Now, uh, this is our 2024 Mazda CX-90 uh, preferred trim. And I'll show you basically like what it's like living with it. But first, let me show you. <laughs> well, actually in part of showing you what it's like living with it. So we take, anytime we have to go any way far, go any road trips, this is the vehicle that we take, obviously, like we also have my 2023 FL5 Honda Civic Type R and we got my 2024 Volkswagen Golf GTI, but I have a wife and three kids. So this is not the vehicle. I'm not going to take either one of these vehicles when we're going on a long road trip. It's going to be our CX-90, right? So first and foremost, we've been driving it all over Florida from, you know, to Tampa, Sarasota, West Palm Beach, uh, even low parts of South Florida. And in doing so, you get a lot of bugs and stuff hitting the windshield, the car, like, you know, Florida's kind of like bug central. So I'm getting ready to wash it. And you guys will see a little bit of me washing and detailing the car. But yeah, this is so you can see what it's like there. And we've been taking like our in-laws with us. We've been going a couple different places with our in-laws. So the car got a little bit dirty. So yeah. You can see right here, like, you see how, and you know, if you know me, you know I hate this, like, stuff here, stuff there from the kids, just like a complete mess. I'm not happy with it, you know, but, you know, I gotta be the one to clean it. So, yeah, you can see here, and, and then we got the two rear seats in the back there, and then you see all the stuff there. So I'm gonna pull out all the seats, and I'm gonna clean out the interior, as well as the exterior. But before I do that, I'll probably end the video with you guys seeing me cleaning it and everything. I'll get straight into the meat of this video. So the good of this vehicle is that, like I said before, it feels very luxurious for an inline straight six. It's very fast. Like it feel the throttle response is amazing. It's fast. We have the built-in navigation, you know, uh, great sound system. And the practicality is on point because like I said, you know, we can have two kids in the back there and then we push that. We can have two people sitting here plus another car seat there plus another person up front. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can fit seven people in here comfortably. Plus, let's open up the rear here. And then have room to put extra stuff here in the back. Now, it's a great vehicle. I love it. I highly recommend it for the, the luxury you feel, the practicality, and just, you know, the driver feel is just amazing. It's, it's an amazing, amazing vehicle. Highly recommend it. Now, let me get into some of the problems. One of the main problems that we've had is that sometimes when you close this here, let's see if it does it now, it won't close all the way. So, like, it'll just kind of, like, See, it'll do that. Wow, look, it actually did it on camera. <laughs> so it'll do that and leave this space here. And I'm sure that's like a software issue. And then we have to go back and hit, hit it again. Then it finally closes. So we've had one incident where we did that and walked away thinking that it was gonna close all the way. And then uh, my wife and mother-in-law drove off and stuff fell out the back so in the middle of the street so that was horrible and that that wasn't cool <laughs> you know so yeah so that's something to be aware of and i'm sure there's a fix so there's a we saw that there was a couple recalls we got to take it in and you know see if we can get that fixed i'll let them know so that's one so you saw that in real time it actually happened like that's one of the issues that happened another issue is that oh yeah well so for this, I'm sure we can disable it and stuff, but sometimes like the, when you, when you do like this to open it, the sensor won't read or whatever. And then there's been other times that when we got into the car to start it up and we, and we hit the start button 
somehow the sensor still wouldn't read and uh oh whoops yeah so the sensor wouldn't read and it would you know we'd have to actually take out our key fob like in order to get it to work and this is a trick too so let's say your battery is dead or it, it's not connecting you know your your key is not is not connecting to the ignition or the sensor is not working you can actually take your key fob and place it here place it on the the start stop and that would get your vehicle to start don't ask me how i know but it, it works like we've done it and it works so that's that's one thing that you know to be aware of so if you have if your key ever runs out of battery you can just place it on the start stop button and that will get your vehicle to start so the biggest problem that i've i've had with this vehicle so far since having it is the transmission so sometimes the transmission feels a little bit herky-jerky but there was one time where i put it in reverse right and uh, because you have to take it out of park put it in reverse and slide it on the drive and then when i put it in the drive the transmission wouldn't go anywhere like it just would not move you know and then i put it i put it back into reverse and it would not reverse and i was like man that's crazy like it was just doing nothing and i had to shut off the vehicle and then start it back up again then it started working but that's like pretty much all the negative aspects that i could say that i've experienced with this car and i'm sure that's going to be fixed in the software fix another good thing just even on our trim the rear view camera is amazing look at that i don't know if you could if you guys can see how clear that is but it is super clear one of the best like rear view cameras that i've ever come across you know so super super clear like i i mean there there's there's a lot of like like features and stuff that i feel could be a little bit better but as far as like everything you need you got let me put it in the park here you have your you know you could turn on the rear ac vents right there you got heated uh chairs yeah and dual climate zone you could sync it it's i don't know great great system uh and unlike some of the other vehicles i have you can actually go in to information and vehicle status monitor and then you could go into maintenance details and it'll show you your tire pressure we got 34 35 34 34 so that's pretty much good there distance until oil change 6,000 6, and 600 miles there right now we're currently almost at 7,000 miles we got 150 to fill up like I don't know man I think I think like for what it is it is an amazing vehicle gets the job done feels luxurious feels fast does have some flaws and I'm sure the newer versions are going to be like slightly better but I know one of you wanted to know if there's rear AC vents. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys that now. So yes, there is rear AC vents. Whoa, let me uh, unlock, pick this up. So I'll show you there's rear AC vents right here and climate control along with USB-C. So you could control it right down there. And we got the magazine pockets on both sides there. And then for the third row, let's see, third row. Yes, there's AC vents right here. Bam, there and there on the side. So yes, there is rear AC vents for the third row in case you guys were wondering about that. And when our daughters are uh, sitting in here, they, sometimes they ask us to turn down the AC because it's too cold so yeah <laughs> there is rear ac uh, vents and controls in the second row and you do get air in the third row um, it's very very good on long road trips like it's all-wheel drive so we've been in like places where you know it was kind of slippery due to rain and stuff like that and it gripped no problem like you always feel safe in here you always feel safe in a mazda cx90 and even with its quirks i highly recommend it i feel like the quirks are just like first model year quirks because we got it brand brand new as soon as it came out in 2024 and i think those are just some of the grown pains that come with it so we're gonna go for our next service pretty soon we're gonna get that uh rear lift gate problem fixed as well as that uh transmission thing where it wouldn't go into gear 
So we'll get those things fixed. And I think this vehicle would pretty much be perfect. It has a great sound, like the exhaust note, everything is just nice. Like, and I'll show you underneath, show you underneath the hood here, something that I like. Uh, am I doing this right? All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, something that I like about this compared to our other two vehicles is that with this, we actually got hood struts. Look at that. <laughs> Man, you can tell I ain't watched this car in a while. You got all this stuff. Uh, shout out to the MOC, by the way. Shout out to RC21. I know you ain't going to like this. <laughs> yeah, so we had to get the, that, that up out of there. And yeah, we, we've definitely been putting some miles because look at all this stuff. So yeah, I got to clean all this stuff out. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and and clean all this out. But yeah, like I said, shout out to the whole MOC. Shout out to Q to Chaotic, Blueprint 1 to Lee, 100 Gang Nate. Shout out to um, to our guy, Will Motivation. He's got some heat coming up. Uh, shout out to, to uh, Race Car 21. Like, you know, he normally he only has jokes whenever I mess up in these videos. So if you spot any inconsistencies, feel free to point them out. <laughs> and shout out to all you guys, man. The channel, we're almost at 7,000 subscribers on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you, man. All you guys are freaking awesome. I'm grateful to have you guys as like subscribers. Like you make doing these videos more fun. Like when I, I look forward to reading a lot of your comments and just seeing what you guys got to say adds a whole lot of fun. But yeah, I hear my kids screaming in the background. So I'm about to end this video, go check up on them. And then I'll come back and start the whole washing uh, process. And you guys, I'll put that, I'll put the whole washing process on the outro so you guys could enjoy that. All right, and that's it for this one. Race car friends out.
up finishing this up a whole day later, but it was worth the time and the effort. So you see what it looks like on the outside. Right, so that's the exterior there. And trust me, it was filthy before. Now let's take a look at the inside. Here's the interior.